Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to do a quick preview. I've got most everything working here, so uh, I'll give a quick preview. So uh, just do the help right away. So uh, we're going to go to Keyboard Layout Editor and we're going to make a layout. And I'll click a preset and I'm going to make a 60% board. So I'll just go like this and remove that. And I'll remove this. And now I want to get rid of this extra space on top, so I'm going to go here and remove that. Now I am pretty much ready, so I'm just going to copy this and I'll go back here, click that paste. Um, here we have a bunch of different options. Uh, this gives you some idea. Basically you have the, the standard switch opening, which is the most stable if you're going to hand wire. Um, this one is uh, MX and ALPS compatible. Um, I don't have ALPS stabilizers yet, but we'll figure that out soon. This is the standard H1, which I know that uh, a lot of people like. Um, this one I wouldn't really recommend. Uh, it's basically, uh, the only benefit is it allows you to do 90 degree rotation of the switches, but uh, you don't really need to ever care about that, and it's not very stable, so it's not one that I'd suggest uh, using. Um, just for fun, I'll switch it to, to that, just because it's not the default. Um, this is going to have a bunch of different uh, types of cases, but for now, I have none, which it has no mounting holes, which is pretty useless right now. And then I have sandwich. Uh, so this is the number of holes that we're going to put around the case. I'm going to make them three millimeter in diameter. Um, I'm going to have six millimeters of padding, which is going to be outside of the of the um, the keys. I'm going to add a three millimeter radius and I'll just leave it as a default uh, 1.5 millimeter thickness um, and we're going to draw. Now this, um, it takes a little bit of time. Um, I think uh, for 60%, I think it takes roughly 30, 30, uh, 30 seconds, 30, 35 seconds. Um, it depends as well on which switch cutouts you do. If you do the really basic ones, it actually takes less time. And if you do really complicated switch cutouts, it actually takes longer. Um, it's, uh, it's drawing everything basically with polylines. So it's, uh, it's doing quite a few different operations to get there. Um, so yeah, as I say, you can go get a coffee at this point. I'm just gonna wait. It shouldn't be too much longer. It should be another like five, 10 seconds probably. But imagine all the time that you're saving by not have to, having to do this by hand. It's like warp speed of your fingers writing CAD right now. Or it's like what we'd like to think anyway. All right, so here we are. Here's our CAD. Now we have a live preview here, so we can actually zoom in and back out and such. We can move around the plate. These are different mouse options. Uh, you can basically see what the what this looks like at different uh, whatever. So it's a nice little uh, it's a nice little live preview we have here. Um, and so I'll just download one. Um, so this is going to be 39. Save. And uh, I, I'm just using a hash to uh, to make it uh, make them unique right now. Um, uh, and I'll open up this plate in a in a um, in a uh, whatever it's called here. CAD program. So you'll actually you actually see that there was actually a 39 STP and a uh, I'm opening a BRP right now. I have a few different formats that I export right now. Um, the STP um, I I apparently used the exact same configuration previously, and so um, the hash is the same. Um, I'm gonna try to optimize things so that if you have the exact same config. Um, of all the different options. So if it's the exact same layout and the exact same switch cutouts and, and everything, um, then uh, it will 
it will basically just serve it from memory, uh, or not from memory, but from uh, from the disk. So here we are. Uh, here it is in a in a CAD program. So um, just going to change it by just blender mode. Um, so you can see that it is has a thickness and whatever the same as uh, as as it did in my in my little renderer. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is this is the plate that we drew, and it's uh, it's ready to get cut. Cheers.